The Kilo TT, one of the most widely respected fixed gears, yet at the same time, one of the most humble. But what if you took those great bones of the Kilo TT and spiced it up a bit to make a bike that's sure to turn heads as reliably as it turns left on the track? That's what Naj did with this custom painted Rainbow Sparkle Kilo TT. Built with solid fixed gear componentry to confidently handle Jakarta's notoriously harsh roads. Now let's take a closer look at just how sick the humble Kilo TT can be built in this fixed gear bike check. Super quick, according to my YouTube stats, about 58% of you that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you find that you like this video, do yourself a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you can know when I actually upload a video to watch more fixed gear videos just like this one. Subscribing is totally free and you can unsubscribe at any time. A portion of this video was sponsored by Wabi Cycles. To learn more about the bike that I ride on a daily basis and the only bike that I own, stick around until the end of the video to learn more about them. If you've perused the internet at all for fixed gears, you've surely come across the Mercier Kilo TT. This bike has become such a no-brainer buy for fledgling fixed gear riders that people now answer any fixed gear queries with Kilo TT. What beginner bike should I buy? Kilo TT. What wheels should I upgrade to? Just get a Kilo TT. I'm building my dream bike. I got a budget of $2,500. What are some components that you guys would buy with that kind of money? Personally, i just buy 5 Kilo TTs and call it a day. Although it's an incredibly common and humble fixed gear, it still provides a solid base for a custom build with its true tight track geometry, externally butted tubing, and respectable Reynolds 520 tube set. But to take this Toyota Corolla of the bike world to the next level, Naj, this bike's owner, slept on a dazzling rainbow glitter clear coat that would give my upcoming purple wobby a run for its money. Enough stickers from various cycling groups to let you know that this is, in fact, a fixed gear bike, and even going the extra mile and threading the stock Kilo TT one inch threadless fork himself to inject a dose of panache with a fully threaded cockpit. Now that is some real Kilo commitment right there. Said cockpit is steered with the ultra esoteric livery design group threaded headset, immediately signaling that this isn't your run of the mill Kilo. Comboed with a negative 17 degree quill stem to keep the stem parallel with the top tube, maintaining the fixed gear's tastefully minimal lines, and a set of Nitto 82 four shred risers in an ample 650 millimeter width to keep comfort and control over Jakarta's shattered asphalt. The bars are finished with Vans cult grips because nobody knows rubber better than skaters. If only Vans was in the contraceptive business. Moving on back, we have a thoroughly broken in Brooks Colt, complete with hand hammered copper rivets, resting atop a 26.8 millimeter Mieke Super Type C post, because the Kilo is so true to fixed gears retro scratch tendencies, that it uses a standard that hardly even exists anymore. Bushing the bike is a set of Flybike's Rubin Graphite platforms with a proudly made in Indonesia cycling cub Burka Jaya bike collaboration foot straps, sporting a unique clip design to ensure your foot is as fastened as can be. And if you want to be as fast as can be, remember that every day is leg day with one of these hoodies from zacolato.com slash merch. The cranks are the great value version of Sugino 75's Rinpunk 1.1 cranks in 165mm length, matched with the fancy brand name Sugino version of the Sugino Zen chainring and a hardy 48 tooth. In the rear of the drivetrain is a 17-tooth diacomp cog and lock ring, making for a mildly spinny ratio perfect for Jakarta's mixed hill and valley terrain. The drivetrain is joined together with a KMC HV410 chain, caked in experience from Indonesia's year-round rainfall. Finishing the build, we have a set of GP-branded sealed Baron Novatech hubs 
in 36 hole drilling for lifelong smooth rolling and enough durability to tackle the occasional bathtub sized pothole. The rims are the 30 millimeter deep Araya SA730s laced with double butted Shimano spokes for that much needed last dash of durability. The wheels roll with WTB fix licks for stupid fun while skidding, traction, and the rain be damned. The Kilo TT is like the vanilla ice cream of fixed gears. It's not terribly exciting, but it's so damn good that you can't help but to like it yourself. And that subdued vanilla flavoring provides the perfect base to mix in a sprinkling of high quality components and a drizzling of DIY sparkle and even DIY threading to transform this once pedestrian fixed gear into an unforgettable experience to build and ride. If you want to have your bike featured in this weekly bike check series, except for the next coming two weeks because I'm taking a Christmas, New Year's vacation, you can check out the instructions on how to have your fixed gear featured in the description. Speaking of bikes that you should check out, this portion of the video was sponsored by Wabi Cycles. Every one of Wabi's design choices are meticulously made to give the purest ride quality for the money. And Wabi executes those choices perfectly with their bikes handmade by master craftsmen in Taiwan and a friendly bike shop in Denver, Colorado that's eager to answer your questions and get you on a bike you'll love. Wabi's relentless attention to detail results in Wallace, my 58 centimeter Wabi Special, weighing in at a grand total of 17.5 pounds straight out of the box. That's well under 20 pounds for a stock bike with completely steel, lugged frame set and no carbon components. And that weight isn't just for quoting and impressing other cyclists though, it results in the best riding experience that I've ever had with a snappy and lively ride quality that only top tier steel can bring. That pure fun makes it easy for me to ride my Wabi Special as my only bike. If you're looking for a bike that puts an end to your search for the perfect bike, consider checking out Wabi Cycles linked at the top of the description, as it really is the closest thing that I've ridden to a perfect bike. And fixie famous shoutouts to Stand Strong 108, Eric Avalo, Ryan Witz, Zane Kolnick, Julian, Corona, and Gio Dezera for helping to make these fixed gear videos possible through their support on Patreon. And remember, life is short, but don't make it shorter, so ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.